Howdy, folks, and welcome to the first episode of Ms. Marvel. Uh, season 1, Episode 1. It says Season 1 here, so maybe there'll be multiple seasons. Uh, Generation Y. Uh, I watched the initial teaser trailer way back when, and the official trailer. But I haven't seen anything else, so I'm really looking forward to this. I did hear, uh, I think it was Jabby Kawai who said that he believed this was the best first episode of any Marvel Disney Plus series. So that's setting the bar pretty high. Um, <laughs> I liked a lot of them. So um, I don't know what else to say, but let's just dive into this and see what, it, what it's got for us. I haven't... Okay. I got to preface this like I preface all of the Marvel stuff. Uh, even Moon Knight, even though I don't think it was a great, a great series, uh, it's my least favorite, I've always been entertained by every Marvel series. So I have faith in... Um, in Feige, basically, uh, to deliver a series that's going to be entertaining. Whether or not it's going to be mind-blowing, awesome or not, it's going to be entertaining. I have a feeling this one will be pretty high on my list. Just a hunch. Here we go. Yeah, we heard this music uh, during the trailer, too, I think, right? People have identified it. I don't actually recognize it, but I think it's a fairly modern piece of music. It sounds almost 80s, though, as a child of the 80s myself. Uh, well, a high school student of the 80s. They were losing. So they're calling the um, the events of Infinity War the Battle of Earth? Okay. I think it's the first time I've heard it referred to that way. But that's what she's calling it. Badly. Did it. Now who was this? I guess it's not just Infinity War. She's talking about the Battle of Earth in Endgame then, huh? The well-coiffed hero? Glorious, well-coiffed hero. Quaffed. my extensive Sorry. research room. Remember, new episodes drop every... I, I don't think he's secretly a gamer, I think. Oh, well, she wouldn't know, right? Because that was in the movie. We know that, but... They don't know that, so she's right. Every Wednesday, be sure to. Sloth baby, love it. Yeah, I wish somebody on YouTube. Well, I'm sure there are people who've done this, but somebody who did something as creative as she does with her cutouts and everything uh, for Marvel stuff, that'd be pretty cool. Having her for real on YouTube would be pretty cool. Yes. Oh no! I was waiting to see what would happen, and first of all, I, I'm still wondering if this is all in her head. But why would she slam on the, the gas like that and, and floor it? Even if she knew she was going forward, why would she do that? Instant fail. Even if it wasn't his car, come on. Don't tell me you were going to like leave the scene of a crime like that. It's not a crime until you leave, right? If you hit a car accidentally, it's an accident. But if you leave, that's a crime. I'm so sorry. They could have offered to drive him home. Why didn't they offer to drive him home? Okay, we have to look at this, of course. Are there any names here that we would recognize? TikTok High School. I'm sure people who are deep in the comics know all these names. I don't know any of them. Oh, well. You get what? This is all the trailer stuff, okay. My name is Gabe. Then why did you say Mr. Wilson on the intercom, dude? Or on the uh, speaker? His, no, I'm not. <laughs> you don't need to go to college, Kamala. Do what you want to do. Well, you're really fine, but right now. I love that camera technique. From what's seemingly one camera shot, splitting it and then panning it, or, yeah, not panning, I guess, tilting, turning in two different directions. Really cool. I need you to. I mean, I can imagine they could do that very easily by just shooting that scene twice. And. You know, the, the discussion between them with the same camera. And then on one take, they tilt, they, they move into him. And the other one, they move into her. And they just merge them in post. I, mean, I guess that's pretty easy. It doesn't require any fancy stuff. But it's cool. Switch the Why did it take so long for there to be an Avenger con? That's what I want to know. Because this is supposedly after Endgame. The Avengers were a well-known commodity starting with the Battle of New York. Shouldn't there have been an Avenger con like in 2014 or 2013 or something? That's the first one. Why do you take so long? Back up my notes. Joe. Mother knows what it is. That reaction, she knows what it is. I'm in. We know from the trailers that that's what gives her the powers, or seems to. And the mother knows what it is. <laughs> She's trouble with this one. Okay. I'll see you soon. See you. Why don't you ask for her? I mean, she's reluctant to ask, and I know it's important that she ask, but. Why not, like, start the conversation and then leave? <laughs> I'd really love Kamala to come with me to Vendricon. I sure hope she can make it. Um, bye. <laughs> I'm asking to go to a party and do cocaine. 
<laughs> Very cute how all the tech stuff is in the environment. So they're in a, like the text is up there too. The emoji and the text is up there. That's cool. I love oh bike lock engaged. Okay, I was about to say, come on, they're in a in a uh, a big city, and he's not going to lock the bike. I mean, that's that's really asking for trouble. But then we see the automated voice bike lock engaged. That's cool. That's where he lives. Wow. He's going to dress in the costume anyway. Maybe to show her mother that it's not really a skimpy costume or a tight costume or anything. He's got the colors in verse. We just saw Captain Marvel up on the wall and he had the totally opposite colors, blue and red. And look at that. Red, blue. Blue, red. You're looking for that flare, huh? Oh, no. Yeah, they were trying to reach out. That kind of hurt their feelings. Yeah, they, they don't get her, but they were trying. <laughs> Whoops. Well, the bracelet. This is not going to be as good as she thinks. Nope. They would have surely heard that. They missed it. School rival. I take it. I'm not recognizing her, but I guess she is. Oh, is it Zoe? Okay, yeah. Oh, how could you forget the gloves? Come on! I swear she set it down with a Helmet upside down. Hmm. Oh, he's not seeing it. Nobody saw it. Now she has to save everybody. Well, she's got everything she needs to be an Avenger. She causes a lot of damage while still saving some people. Oh no, they're going to go out the front door, aren't they? Oh, the plan was 9-11. It's 11-11, so... She's probably been discovered to be gone. Her mother has one very valid point. And, well, she has... I mean, obviously, she, she cares for her and loves her, so she has a lot of valid points, but... The valid point being that Carol Danvers didn't want to become Captain Marvel. It was thrust upon her. And Kamala's got a different take on it. She wants to be like Captain Marvel. She wants to be, and she's excited now that she does have superpowers, which is a different way to come into it, right? Is she really doing this because that's who she wants to be, what she wants to be, or is it because she's trying to copy somebody, you know? It's a, it's a very valid question. I was just about to comment on how really creative the, uh, the credits are, and then I looked ahead and noticed that there's an after credit scene, so let's take a look at that. Here we go. So what are these people? Bring her in. I didn't recognize any of them. Um, I wonder if it's going to be an organization we already know about or not. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, this was a really fun first episode. I enjoyed it quite a bit. There were only a couple of little slow parts where I was like, hmm, maybe we can speed this up a little. But overall, it was really, really good. Uh, I didn't think that those really bogged down the story at all. Um, it just act Whenever I actually stop and think to myself, this is going slow, I, I usually, you know, would rather it not. <laughs> um, but it was a great first episode. The bracelet, her mother did definitely seem to recognize that it was something that she shouldn't play with. Not that it was like, oh, that's an adult thing, you know, it's not, you know, you might break it or something. No, she she knows something about that. I'm wondering if the mother had used it in the past and realized that it was, that it caused too much danger her for her family or something or, and, and it got hidden away and, and that's why she doesn't want Kamala to use it at all. <clears throat> or to be involved in any of this stuff, the superhero stuff. Maybe there's more to her mother than than uh, we believe is what I'm getting at. Um, the costume was pretty good. The, the costume in her uh, that she was wearing in her fantasy uh, of how she's going to do the plan was a different costume and a lot better, you know, higher quality made uh, than the one she sew, uh, sewed herself. So, but it was still pretty cool. And uh, the hijinks at the convention were fun. 
but we basically just this first episode really just set up everything right it set up the world uh we know where they live we know of the two main characters um kamala and her friend and there was a tiny tiny bit of romantic tension just a tiniest bit uh when they were up on the roof and it almost looked like he wanted to tell her something or maybe even kiss her or something but it's the vast majority of it has been BFF energy. You know, they're just best friends. They, you could tell they've been ch- really good friends from child, from even younger childhood. They're 16, but from like maybe elementary school or something. Um, they're really close friends, uh, but of course they're, they're growing. And so there was this, the tiniest bit of that. I, I don't know where they're going to go with that. I don't know if they're going to do anything with that or not. I, I don't know if I want them to do anything with that or not. I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, these people noticed her, and uh, and she's got her powers now, and it's not obviously everybody who's read the comics. I'm not a comic reader of Ms. Marvel, but everybody who's read it said, you know, she gets she's uh, an Inhuman, but they're kind of disavowing the Inhumans, which doesn't make any sense to me. Um, why Marvel would do that, uh, unless Feige has a plan to roll them out better later, I don't think he would just like take a whole, you know, corner of. Marvel that they own that they can use and just shove it to the corner and never use it. That doesn't make any sense for Feige. Feige seems to want to use everything eventually. Um, so I imagine he has plans to use Inhumans later and he just didn't want to introduce that concept here, even though the concept has been introduced in the Inhuman series and in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But, you know, there's argument about that and how uh, that might just be a, an alternate universe now that we have the whole, you know, alternate universes thing, the multiverse thing. Um, could definitely be because I mean they brought in the. I'm not going to give spoilers for uh, for Doctor Strange, but they have made it clear that the and, and the Spider Man in the Spider Man you know the other Spider Man universes, other Spider Man movies were brought in, and they were just, just multiverse parallel universes sort of thing, alternate universes. So the, the, uh, anybody like myself who's a big fan of of uh, the Inhumans that were in uh, Agents of Shield. Uh, the Inhumans and the Inhuman show was, I mean, that wasn't a great show, but there were some cool characters in there and some fun moments. Um, we can think of them as just an alternate universe and that they are still part of the whole MCU. They're just not the main MCU, you know, the sacred timeline, uh, apparently. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess they're deferring the Inhuman thing. So her powers come from something else, a cosmic energy thing. She, she said cosmic. Maybe it's a cosmic energy. I guess we'll find out more about that bracelet as we go on. Um, I'm suspecting her mother will have some information about it. Uh, or at least some experience with it. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to seeing where that goes. So who are these people? What do they want with her? Where, where do we go next? I guess we'll find out next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.